Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. We just hit 46.5k subscribers. Let's get to 50k by election day. Please like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. But before we get started, I have to tell you guys about my friends over at My Patriot Supply. Friends, I want to talk to you very frankly about the increasing civil unrest we're seeing in America these days. You can't turn on the news without hearing about more riots, more violence, looting, killings, lawlessness, and mayhem in too many cities and now suburbs. And sadly, I think the worst is yet to come. The political animosity in our country is unlike anything we've ever seen before. It's escalating rapidly, and the crescendo will be very painful. Therefore, this will certainly be the greatest survival challenge you've ever faced. Don't feel bad if you seem like you're almost powerless to stop it. We're all in the same boat. However, I want to focus your attention on what you can do to survive. And priority number one in these times is to make sure that you have enough food to eat if and when the system falls apart. I'm not trying to scare you, I'm trying to prepare you. You see, those that know what's coming are using today to protect themselves and their loved ones from the uncertain future we all face. I know you're not willing to be a victim, but these days anything can go wrong at any time. That's why self-reliance and emergency preparedness are vital requirements no matter who you are. If you know me, you know I fully endorse My Patriot Supply. They're the only source I personally use and trust to get through the times ahead, and you should too. And right now you can save $100 off a four-week emergency food supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times, and saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The future is so uncertain, so I urge you to go to preparewithreadigle.com and get ready now. That's preparewithreadigle.com now, and do it, because tomorrow might be too late. And today we have to talk about the Red Mirage. A lot of people have talked about the Red Mirage over the past couple of days. I'm sure you guys have heard the term being thrown around, but not too many people know or understand what it is. So it's really this concept that on election day, Donald Trump will have a Reagan-Nixon-esque landslide victory. He will have won the popular vote and the electoral vote by a massive margin never seen before. However, this would assume that only 15% of vote-by-mail votes are counted, and then after election night, no matter if he wins or lose, he will see a massive drop-off in electoral votes and the popular vote support. Now, I will have to say regarding this that this is mainly due to the fact that Democrats are more likely to vote by mail, Republicans are more likely to vote in person or early vote in person, and as you can see here that the election day votes would be massively Republican, assuming the vote by mail votes would be taken a very slow time to count. And this is very infuriating no matter if Trump wins or loses because it will seem like Republicans will have won, then the election will be taken away based off of mail-in votes. It takes so long to count. States should count them first and should not accept mail-in votes that are received after election day just because they were postmarked on election day. I think that's an absolute disgrace and people need to send in their ballots on time if they want to get their votes counted properly. If not, they could easily go vote in person, vote early in person, etc. as you guys know. And this group here in Axios is warning of an apparent Trump election day landslide. And they are saying that uh, imagine America with its polarization and misinformation if the vote tally swings wildly towards Biden and Trump loses days later as the mail-in ballots are counted. So obviously this is a Democrat-aligned uh, group. It's aligned with Michael Bloomberg here. They do work for the DNC. And they're saying that it's going to cause panic if this is the way that it goes. They will point towards an incredible victory for Donald Trump when every um, vote is counted. However, that will be days after Election Day, and it will show that the election night vote is a mirage. And if you look at this, um, it uses a model that would say only 15% of the vote-by-mail ballots will be counted on Election Night. I don't believe that that will be entirely true. The Trump campaign is responding by saying the news media should get out of the business of predicting the future. And I am skeptical of what this would really entail. And even CNN is talking about a blue shift after Election Day, talking about the results that would happen on Election Day. And the gap will be even wider, especially um, in terms of the mail-in votes versus the votes that would be in person, based on the fact that Trump has done a fair amount of attacking the mail-in voting system. And it's 40 chess for him, because mail-in ballots are more likely to be rejected, 
and if the Democrats vote solely by mail, their ballots will be more likely to be rejected and not counted, so it kind of gives Trump a subtle 4D chess uh, leg up on the Democrats in terms of the election. He could gain 1-2% to alone in each state by this factor alone, which kind of can play into the fact that the polls may be missing some sort of factor yet again. And we talk about what happened, and in several states um, beforehand, this was a big deal. Pennsylvania saw the Democrats gain 22,000 votes after Election Day in the last four presidential elections. Not enough to sway the outcome, but when Pennsylvania is such a close state, it very well could happen. And this played out in the 2018 midterms as well. Martha McSally had a 15,000 vote lead on election night, but again, Kirsten Cinema ended up winning by around 70,000 votes, but thanks to mail-in and provisional ballots, which is very sketchy because these ballots came in like 90 to 10 for Cinema, but they also broke significantly, I think, for Doug Ducey as well. Doug Ducey, I think, had a big advantage in these ballots. It could have been a coincidence, but it also did lead to some speculation about fraud and how the ballots are counted. We don't have election transparency in this country. At least it's not transparent enough. We do need some more transparency because we don't want this to happen and then see this happen at the end of the day. And could the people behind the scenes be changing the votes? It's possible. We all know what happened in Arizona in 2018, potentially foul play. We know there could have been some foul play in Minnesota in 2008 where they found the box of ballots in the car that was just enough to put Al Franken over the top over Norm Coleman. So obviously we know that. And election transparency is very important to the sake of our democracy that we do know. So looking at this, it's really going to be telling what happens in the days after Election Day. But I will say this, not every single state will have the red mirage effect because there are many states that do count their mail-in ballots on election night and many states that actually count them first before the in-person vote from what I've heard. Ohio and Florida, I believe, are two very good examples. I've heard from multiple sources that Florida will have enough votes counted likely to call a winner on election night, as well as Ohio, Pennsylvania, Arizona, and now Georgia. There's potentially going to be a lawsuit in Georgia. Those will be three states that potentially could actually determine the outcome uh, based on mail-in ballots. Also, Wisconsin seems to be the kind of state that counts their votes fairly efficiently. At least that's what the primaries have showed us. So we kind of get a little bit of a mixed bag. Some states are going to count their ballots faster than others, kind of like in 2018. I don't expect a massive, massive red mirage. I don't believe that Trump will win Vermont and uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island and New Jersey and Delaware and Maryland and Virginia on election night like this model is showing. And I do believe that a lot more than 15% of mail-in ballot voting will be counted on election day. So we really just have to wait and find out what happens. A lot can happen. Just make sure you get registered to vote, make sure you go out and vote, and make sure you take 3, 5, 10, or even 20 people to vote with you because that's the only way that we can win this election. Also get registered to vote if you guys uh, are over 18, that is, or will have turned 18 by election day, then you can get registered to vote so you can vote for Donald J. Trump this November. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video down below, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media. Become a member. Donate to the Patreon or subscribe. Star links in description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.